In a nutshell, influenza-like illnesses are a group of respiratory infections that include symptoms like fever, chills, congestion, dry cough, and body aches, typically with a sudden onset. Now, it's not necessarily the flu, but it sure can feel like it. And here's what's going around where you live. In Wayne County, Children's Hospital is treating lots of kids with asthma. CVS Minute Clinic in Wyandotte reports seasonal allergies and strep throat, and Garden City Hospital reports a lot of colds and coughs. Beaumont Canton is still seeing dehydration on the hotter days. Moving to Oakland County, the CVS Minute Clinic says influenza-like illnesses are on the rise. They're also seeing ear infections, sinus infections, hand, foot, and mouth disease, and a viral rash called molluscum contagiosum that causes small wart-like bumps. West to Washtenaw County, ER doctors at U of M report lots of viruses in kids, including hand, foot, and mouth disease in little ones and sore throats in older kids and college students. St. Joseph Mercy in Ann Arbor continues to see dehydration and other heat-related illnesses on the hotter days. Heading to Monroe County, ProMedica Monroe Regional was seeing lots of heat-related problems too and treating children with sports injuries. Dr. Anthony Songo reports many upper respiratory illnesses. Checking out Livingston County, Ascension Medical Center in Howell reports upper respiratory infections and sinus infections. St. Joseph Mercy Livingston and Brighton are both seeing a lot of stomach virus symptoms. Finally in Macomb County, McLaren Macomb reports some influenza-like illnesses, but says the flu tests are all negative. They're also treating lots of asthma and allergies. Beaumont Dr. Asha Shahajan in Roseville reports cases of that viral rash, molluscum contagiosum. And Dr. Robert McClowery in St. Clair Shores is seeing shingles, tick bites, and sports injuries. Now going back to those influenza-like illnesses, they are important because they can be a barometer of the number and the spread of contagious viruses in the community that could include influenza. Now as far as treatment, it boils down to controlling symptoms with a fever reducer and pain medication plus decongestants while you basically wait for your immune system to handle that virus.